Over-the-top entertainment spaces are growing in popularity. Nationwide, updates to these types of spaces will give you a 74% return on your money. In Atlanta, it's 84%. $55,000 is the price tag for each of these three entertainment space renovations in Atlanta. Zane and Maja bin Hansraj used careful spending and occasional splurges in their basement. Well, this is a newly incorporated city called Johns Creek. We are about, I would say, 35 miles from downtown Atlanta. And it's really nice up here. We live in a gated community. We love the houses over here because it's all traditional. Our home is a traditional home. We do our own things to push our Indian touch to it. When we first moved, uh, the basement wasn't finished. It only had studs done. I hate to go down in the basement yeah. because it was dark. Now, we have all the reasons to come down over here to watch movies, to play pool, and entertain the parties and everything else. And it's just so gorgeous. <laughs> In this room, we basically just hang out. We have all our friends come over. We have a karaoke machine there, so everybody gets a turn, and it's just fun. You should come over sometime. <laughs> <laughs> In here, we have a full kitchen. One thing we splurged on is the uh, granite. I really wanted granite. I don't have granite upstairs. And that is my favorite room. I come here and play with my kids. And I use this counter as snack bar, so I have all the appetizers over here. Every time we come down for a movie, there's a pre-game. <laughs> I love to play. And this is everybody's favorite room. We love to come down here and watch movie. We have eight seats here. And the color, I wanted something different. So I went with blue, and it, it works out really good, blue with black combination. I and mean, I can say that, that this is my dream come okay. true, you know? So I love it, though. This is like a village of mansions. I've never seen a neighborhood like this before. And actually, this home is more modest than a lot of their neighbors. What? This home better have a high level of renovations to bring it up to the level of the other homes in this neighborhood. Ooh, you're giving them a challenge. I love it. Whoa, this Not is like a, a house within a house. A buyer's gonna love the space here. And what they're gonna notice right off are these windows. In a lot of basement level entertainment spaces, they're like caves. There's so much daylight. It's, it's great. I love her, she likes me. She I likes my tell. style, or our style, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a negative for me. This is a real red flag, was mm -hmm. that? A red flag. I love the beautiful tile that runs throughout. I'm just wondering why it changes to carpet in this room. I would have loved to have seen tile floor continued throughout the space. I don't want to. I don't want to put tiles down. The carpet is comfortable. Come on, Colette. Who gets a second kitchen like this? Most people would be thrilled to have a first kitchen like this. We like to entertain. There's nothing wrong with having a full kitchen in the and basement. Anytime we have a party, I don't want to go up and down. Exactly. And Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful stainless hood that's like a hat on my head. Excuse me? I, it's a little bit on the low side. I... I'd never had any problem with that. <laughs> yeah, my hair would probably go up in the vent. Well, easy problem to solve. You can just totally just raise that up. Why would you get under there? I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> I can tell by their comments that they, they really don't know how to cook. But come on, how did they do this for $55,000? They were super smart. They actually renovated upstairs, brought their old appliances down here. So they saved a huge amount of your budget because in a kitchen, your appliances can be pricey. Can you imagine our budget would have just blown out of proportion if we had exactly. bought everything brand new. <laughs> oh my gosh, this place never stops. Now we have a huge pool room. It's a very functional room because if you don't play pool, you can always use this for something else. Yep. I love the tile floor because it has that stone look without actually being stone. But we couldn't afford stone, so we had to go with the tile that looked like stone. Now wait till you see the movie theater. Colette, this is not at all what I would expect from a theater. What did he expect? <laughs> is it not up to his standard? What did he not expect? I don't know, he didn't like the color. People never use their imagination. In this particular instance, they painted it blue, and I think it really works. Oh, he likes it. 
<laughs> we were jumping to a conclusion. He likes it. The only issue I have is how they've put these cheap white outlet covers everywhere. And I would have liked to have seen something that blended a little bit more with the room. That's not a big thing. We can change that very easily. Yeah. yeah. And I really love how they've tucked this AV equipment into these recesses because you don't really see it when you walk in. Good job. <laughs> We planned it right. I really love this platform because I'm finally taller than you. I love this. I think we got the I big bang for a big bang. Yeah, I think. I'm in the boots. <laughs>spent a lot of time in the car. We looked at three entertainment spaces in the quote unquote Atlanta area, all redone for $55,000. We're lucky enough, in Atlanta we have a huge metro area, so we got a lot of product to choose from. So the national average to redo entertainment spaces is about 75%. In Atlanta, we're higher than the national at 84. So Aaron and Wes, they're the ones with the stone, the great media room, the wine closet. And I loved all the stone work. I thought it really gave that space some character. The one issue I really have is that in the wine room, they did miss some of the, the little details. I wished all those screw holes had been plugged in. You know, you do that and all of a sudden you elevate the look tremendously. And buyers, as soon as they walk down those steps and put their feet on those laminate yeah. floors, they're gonna think, oh my gosh, these floors are cheap. Now, on the ROI, they came in at 20%, which is about an $11,000 recoup of their investment. Stop it. I don't believe you. It really is just location specific. We really are at least an hour outside of downtown Atlanta. However, if they hold on to it for a few years, that number will increase. Pam and Bob, a great adult entertainment space. Buyers are going to walk in and they're going to like the overall open floor plan. They're not going to like the dry bar. They're not going to like that big of an aquarium. Maintenance nightmare. I wish they had saved the money on the aquarium and transferred that water over to that dry bar area and really made it a real substantial bar. Absolutely. So when we look at their ROI, we're looking at 75%, which is the national average. So they got about 41,250 out of their investment. Hey, if you're hitting the average, you can't really complain. Zane and Mahajabin. They were the ones with the blue home theater. And a full kitchen that most people would be stoked to have as their primary kitchen. However, I always worry about carpet, like on a terrace level, just the water seepage from the slab. Also, I wish the fridge could have been fully opened. I don't think that's a lot to ask. I also think that the hood needs to be raised a little bit. I mean, it's hitting me right at eye level. And let's face it, I'm not exactly six feet tall. So on the numbers, their ROI was actually excellent at 90%. Whoa. Yes, and that's $49,500 return on a $55,000 investment. Well, that means Zayn and Mahajabin got the most bang for your buck. I mean, 90%, that's huge. You went down there, it didn't even feel like a basement. We never envisioned that it's gonna come out to be this great. <laughs> we did it to our taste. And at the end of the day, that's the taste that counts.